Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello, my name is Emma Rose and welcome to my channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Primark makeup haul. So I went into Primark and I bought a whole lot of makeup. Well, I was trying to go for a full face of Primark makeup, but I found that some things weren't in store or they were out of stock. So I'm basically doing a full face Primark makeup, but you know, I'm just missing a few bits and bobs. I literally spent around £25 on basically a whole face of makeup. So yeah, I was really amazed as to how much stuff I was able to get for £25. It was just amazing. Although I didn't have a budget, but you know, when I went to pay for everything and they said the price, I was like, what? no way <laughs> like literally no way because that is very affordable i'm gonna try to do a full face of makeup just to see how that comes out and see if it's actually worth buying makeup from primark okay, so i'm gonna start doing my eyebrows and i bought the three in one brow pencil so it's got pencil it's got powder and it's got a gel and it came up to £2.50 so you know like where do you get three in one eyebrow pencils for £2.50 guys like nowhere <laughs> literally i'm trying to get the sign out but you know what okay so what color did okay i went for light brown yeah i'm a bit weird i usually go for like a dirty blonde color on my eyebrows i know but it still comes out brown you know it doesn't come out blonde okay so this is quite thick um let's see how this comes on i'm gonna put on my little clips guys I'm like a little nerd when it comes to putting on my makeup i'm like yo Let's get ready for this. Yeah, so these aren't Primark, by the way. Okay, but it's very, very easy to apply. It's like creamy. So I'm not complaining there. So far, it's so good. It didn't come with a spoolie though, which got me upset. As if I don't have spoolies already. But I mean, it's nice having the option sometimes of like it coming with a spoolie. I don't know why. Oh, I was gonna start reviewing the, the concealer being like oh my gosh this concealer is just like glides on so nicely but then I just realized it's my favorite concealer I actually really like how my eyebrows came out I would usually leave it like this but as it's free and one you know I'm just gonna be nosy and just play with it all so it says powder let me try the powder let's just shake it out when I put it back in here, I feel like a bit starts coming out, if you can see that. I really don't see much of a difference with this powder, but maybe it's meant to add on just a bit. Okay guys, so let's try the colour gel now. Okay, yes, and there is product in here. Thank God for that. Ye yep, I added a bit too much. Okay. Yep, I added too much no it definitely doesn't look natural yeah you have to go really light because if not you're just gonna get a blob for an eyebrow literally okay i need to sort this out now because i do not like how my eyebrows just came out so let me just get my normal blend this product out the gel is a bit too thick for my liking so if you do end up getting this product literally use the slightest amount or don't use it i feel like i've got one eyebrow darker than the other Okay guys, so now I'm going to start playing with the eyeshadow and I got this cute little, it's like a little nudie kind of eyeshadow palette. It's just, I really like these colours. This is definitely the type of colour scheme I usually go for. It's like my safe zone. And can you believe it just cost £3.50 guys? That is amazing for an eyeshadow palette, especially because these days I've been spending too much on eyeshadow palettes. Not good. <laughs> They look so cute. They look quite pigmented actually. Um, they look really pigmented. Just focusing on my face. Let me just move on to my face so you can see that. Yes, you can. Let's start with this white one here. Just put this all over my lid. I don't want to put it with a primer just because I want to see how this applies without a primer. Even though obviously primer would be ideal. I'm now going to apply this light nude. I wish they came with names. Do they come with names? They definitely do not. Okay. Woo. 
there was a lot of excess powder on that one felt like it just went in my face okay now i'm gonna just apply this okay that came out it's not very pig pigmented but i mean it's coming on quite nicely so i'm just gonna be applying the shade on my crease area okay i'm gonna add on this nudie brownie one here yeah, I'm gonna go for a smaller blending brush and just basically blend this onto the same area as the first shade this shade is very pretty okay guys so I'm now gonna cut my crease and yeah I'll probably do that off camera because these two have nothing to do with Primark yeah so I'm gonna see how these apply and these metallic shades I don't, know, I don't feel like it's it's shining too much i see a little bit no i just need to keep on applying i'm gonna probably add another color just because it's a bit too light so i'm gonna add this other metallic shade this is also very light can you even see the pink i thought it was gonna be a lot darker uh, okay it's very I can see it but it's just very subtle I don't know if you can see it on the camera okay let's see if we can do a darker one please be darker please be darker so I'm gonna try this one on top here even though I feel like it's lighter okay yeah. this one's darker it's blending out quite nicely with the rest of the eyeshadow definitely very subtle shimmers but they come out really nice blend this out on the side a bit so that you can see a transition between it and it's not just like bam a line in your face okay guys so i just finished my eyeshadow look and i'm not gonna lie this palette actually came out better than expected although i did have to use quite a lot of the product in order to you know achieve what i have now okay guys so now on to the foundation and as i've said in my previous videos i have very oily skin so of course i went for a matte foundation because i want to see if the matte foundation you know can control my oils so this is natural medium coverage matte finish oil free okay and i believe this was like three pounds I don't know where the price is okay so let's try this out look at my whole palette of a hand <laughs> i literally always just use the whole back of my hand as the palette and now the front of my hand you can see that it's got quite a strong smell to it but it's not perfumey that makes sense it smells like very thick foundation i don't know if that would have the scent to it So it comes on really well i hate creamy thick foundations i just hate them with a passion i feel like my face has just like a layer of cream on it i don't know i just like something really light on my face with good coverage of course it's a lot better than expected actually i don't mind the um, the color of it either actually and i'm so picky that was such a good freestyle move at MZ. i look so weird but i feel like not good at covering anything really i feel like this part's a bit patchy i don't know if you can see it moving on now i unfortunately couldn't find the primark concealer so i'm just going to be using my Too faced concealer because i don't like putting on makeup without concealer i don't know i just feel like i go off track with my makeup okay guys so i also bought some setting powder of course i am so full setting powders plus as I've said before, I have oily skin, so certain powders are just my life. It helps basically control my oils. And this was actually three pounds, which is so amazing. Okay, spongy. <laughs> spongy material. I really like that. That's a good idea. Yes, Primark. Yes. Uh, so you put your beauty blender and then you can bake. That makes life so much easier. Okay, so do I just put this in? Woo! <laughs> that just 
Do you see what that pad works with? Oh, I love that idea. <gasps> love it. And it comes out so amazing. That was such a good idea. There's just a lot of powder flying out, but I love how easy it is to apply. The only thing is you can't control how much powder you get into it, so you have to keep on like adding. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop now because I feel like I look like a snowman. Um but let's see how this baking powder comes out. So I'm just gonna leave my face baking for a while. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be applying some false lashes. I got these because they look quite natural and yeah, they were only five pounds, which is quite expensive for Primark lashes if you think about it because I can get really nice ones from Boots for five pounds. I literally could. That is quite expensive. So I'm gonna see how these apply and stick on. So I'm gonna be using, I didn't see a glue, lash glue in Primark, so I'm just gonna be using my own ones. And okay, it's got a clear band. I'm gonna be applying my glue and I'm gonna let this set for a while. Okay guys, so while I let the glue set, I'm gonna be trying their bronzer and I got the bronze glue. It's quite a dark one. Um, and I got it's one pound guys. Can you believe it? Bronzer, one pound. So I got this shade here, which is quite cute. I really like the shade actually. And I'm just gonna apply some why is there so much excess on the powders, guys? I'm just trying to see if this does not come out patchy because I don't want this to come out patchy. But I mean the shade's actually quite nice. It's coming out nice, not coming out patchy at all. I like the shade. And I'm just going to apply my eyelashes. And I'm just getting them stuck everywhere now. Okay, I cannot see which side is for which side. Okay, you know what? That's got to do. That does not look good at all. Yeah, I don't like the eyelashes. <laughs> well, maybe I just don't like clear band eyelashes, but whatever it is about this eyelash not working for me you guys so how cute is this comes with a little lip liner and liquid matte and another liquid matte so it, it should ideally make a perfect nude lip i definitely don't look like someone that's just obsessed with nude stuff because bam got the nude edit got nude eyeshadows got nude everything let's see how this comes out Oh, that is so cute because of my eyeshadow. It literally glides on so beautifully. I really like this. Um, it's a bit too pinky for me, but I'm not complaining. It doesn't um, glide on the lip. So I was trying to do that, but it's okay. We can do this. Okay, I didn't realise how pink it was until now. Okay, let's try to put the mats. That's going to be... Oh, why is it all leaky? Okay, I've literally just got lip gloss all over me right now. I don't know why it's basically leaked out of the container. I've never seen a lipstick leak before, but... Anyway... Okay. I guess it's very pinky. <laughs> Yeah, gosh, I look like Barbie girl. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to dry so I can put this second one on and then I'll just see if they actually do come up matte. So, we will be back with you guys in a little bit. Oh my gosh, I feel like I look so pinky and I'm wiping lip gloss. I actually feel like a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. <laughs> okay, so I tried to let the matte lipstick dry out for a bit. Well, not for a bit, for around like 20 minutes. And yep, still hasn't dried out. Um... Yeah, and it still transfers quite a lot so it's not really a matte lipstick i mean obviously it's gone a bit matte but it's not dried out dried out because i thought it would it's like a creamy lipstick basically okay so i'm going to apply this lipstick on top of this one because this one's just too pink for my liking hopefully they make a better combination hmm interesting Um, just making sure it didn't grow my teeth. Um, yeah, at least it's better than just the other one on its own. I feel like it's very fluorescent. Fluorescent pink. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be using this 
Looks amazing. Intense full slash effect mascara. 95% so instant volume. Do we believe in these? Do we not? That is the question. Um, yeah, so apparently it's amazing. And it was only £3. So it looks kind of like the benefit one. Do you know what I mean? You should really ideally put your mascara before you put the lashes on. But as I really don't think I'm going to be using these lashes ever again. I'm just going to, you know, go out of control a little bit. You can kind of see a difference. Like this one's more awake and that one's sleepier. Yeah, there is. Let's put in the other one. Especially only for three pounds. Uh? Okay. No flipping no way, dude. No way. There is no way that I just got a whole blob of mascara on my face. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Am I gonna get it off? No. I, it literally just flew on my face. Can you guys see how thick that is? Like, yo, <laughs> where the hell did you fly off from? Okay. No, it's gonna stay in. Uh, okay, that actually came off quite easily. Got it off. Problem solved. Sold it. Ooh, that was so lucky. And then look how it just went on this tissue. Did a madness. Okay, I've still got a blob. It's okay. Let me just take out, I had setting powder before guys, that's why my face probably looks a bit dramatic right now. So that's it guys. Okay, ow. Let me just shuffle up my hair a little bit. You know, play the part as if I'm going out. How I'd look. But for Primark makeup, I think my makeup came out really nice. Overall, I'd probably give like their makeup literally like a 7 out of 10. And that's because I really like the final outcome, apart from lip gloss. Um, I really like how it came out. And um, yeah, considering for a whole bunch of makeup, I just spent £25. That is amazing, Primark. Thank you so much. I just hope I don't break out. I'm joking. Um, not really joking. <laughs> so we have come to the end of my video guys. I hope you enjoyed the review and my final outcome. And if you did, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye guys.